Journey to the Heart, Centering Prayer for Children by Frank X. Jelinek, illustrated by Anne Boyajian. We are off to take a journey to the center of ourselves. Where are we going? Is it far? Here. It's right here, in the deepest part of your heart. In every heart there is God's kingdom. Your soul is the home of God inside you, a holy place to pray each and every day. And though you cannot see your soul, you know it's there just like the air. So when you close your eyes and open your heart, you need not go very far. Your soul is who you are. Yes, who I am is a child of God. I am made in God's image, and I am like Jesus, too. And a part of me is filled with the Holy Spirit. It's true. Why would you want to go there, to the deepest part of your heart? Because this journey is a very special time when God prays within you, in that secret place in the soul where Jesus lives and loves. So now, how do... Do I get to that place in my heart? Is it a long journey? When can we start? No, it won't take you long. Only a few minutes, really. But first, you will need a special, secret, sacred word. A holy word that is a key. A secret way to knock. A sacred key to unlock the center of your heart. You can choose your own word. A secret just between God and you. Here are some special words to pick and choose from. You may find another word in your Bible, but remember, keep it safe and secret in your heart and mind, even though you may change it from time to time. Your key will always work, will open every lock and door. When it's spoken from the heart, we know that for sure. Do you have it? Your word, I mean. Okay, now repeat your secret word like a whisper in the heart, and only by God is it heard. Next, let me tell you the steps to take on this short journey inside. The steps are the same for everyone. Let us pray. Let us rest within, with God the Father and the Son. In a very special way, silently we say, Welcome, Holy Spirit. Pray with us and in us today. Step 1. Choose your secret, sacred word. Step 2. Place your chairs in a circle if others join you to pray. If you're praying all by yourself, that's okay. Parents or adults may light a candle just for as long as they stay. Step three, be still, be silent, eyes closed. Closed door, feet on the floor, lips sealed, straight on the seat. Step four, silently say your secret word in your heart. Rest within, sit and wait. God is there inside you, in the quiet. Rest within. Step five. When you find yourself thinking of something else, that's okay. Just say the secret word again, silently and slowly in your heart. Then, let those other thoughts float right out of your head. Step six. Six minutes of silence. A journey to the center of you with God. That is the time the journey will take you. Step seven. Six minutes later, you may open your eyes and say out loud the Our Father prayer. Do you know it? Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In your heart and soul, God speaks in silence, where words cannot be found out loud. But know and trust that God will hear you, even when you don't speak a word. God's ear is right next to your heart. There may be a lot of noise outside, a barking dog, a singing bird, a buzzing bee, a poking frog. Your friends might sneeze or cough, hiccup, maybe even burp. You may hear fire engines, police sirens, airplanes and helicopters, playtime, laughing, yelling, and cheering. There are also noises inside of you. The thoughts of toys, TV shows, and movies. 
games and sports to play with friends and family, chocolate cake, ice cream, candy, and other good things. It's all right. They're all okay. No matter what or who you hear or think about inside and out, just repeat your word gently, softly, quietly after each thought. It will be heard in your heart by God. Let your thoughts go. Forget them all. Let them float right out of your head. Knock, knock, knock. Secret, sacred word. Here I am, God. I want to spend time with you. Come pray within my heart. God whispers back in your heart. I love you. When can you pray? Every day that the sun rises, shines, and sets. When stars sparkle and twinkle and the moon glows, you can pray in spring, summer, fall, and winter as the seasons come and go. Wake up, my child. Time to begin a new day. Please wash, dress, have some breakfast. Then time to pray. Six minutes of silence in quiet sitting, opening your heart to God today. Then when the day is almost over, Sometime before you go to bed, pray once more to make it twice. Six minutes more, this time of prayer before you sleep. Rest within your heart and soul with God, your friend who loves you.